We're back. That's right. How about it? How about it? Yet another fabulous 420 roll. You know, do you think this hot? This will get hotter if I no, it's on. It's, it's on. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ah. Mm hmm Well, let's see. I was wanting to see if this one will work on the new machine. Okay. Well, as you can see, we're just a little shy on guests today. So I guess that means that I'll have to drink a lot of tea. And I might just do it. Ah, you've all been wondering what this is, haven't you? Well, we're gonna see. Also, I'm gonna see if this thing's gonna play. It doesn't seem like it wants to play. Uh -huh. It wants to say, it's loading forever. Mm -hmm. There it goes. This is a good thing. This is uh, what else would an alchemist need? Huh? But a chart of the elements, right? Earth, earth, air, fire, and water. Let's see. I ordered it on the internet. Oh, hmm. It's not earth, air, fire, and water. They've added. A, they've they've added a few since I looked last time. Well, don't. Isn't this great? All right. We'll have to figure out some way to attach that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I might attach it over yonder. Mm -hmm. I mean. I'm gonna have to go chasing down tape and stuff. I'll have to find something that actually works in here. Okay. So we know that one doesn't work. It's a... well, we'll put it in the. These don't work. Thing. I'll try to reburn them at home and see if I can make a version that will work. Okay. It's getting to be a lot. Uh huh. Well, let's see. Let's see. All right, let's see if this one works. Hello. Hey there, I'm so glad you came. Oh, look at you, you brought fancy sandwiches. I brought two and two sandwiches. Oh, good. Oh, that's right, because we talked. Remember we were talking about and I said the last time uh -huh. I bring some? Okay. So I did. Well, excellent. But there's nobody here to eat them. What, you and I are nobody? <laughs> I mean, other than us. <laughs> Have to eat a lot of cheese. Well, now that they're here, probably people will know to come. How are you? I am okay. Look what I got in the mail. It's a periodic table. It is a, it is a chart of the elements. Oh, do you watch Breaking Bad? No. What's that? Well, it's got all those symbols on it. Breaking. It's about Breaking Bad is an AM, huh? AMC. AMC. Wait a minute. Now. Breaking Bad uh -huh. is on AMC. AMC is a TV. American, yeah, TV. Okay. And uh, he was a science teacher. Okay. And he discovers that he has terminal cancer. Oh. 
And he knows that he's not going to be able to support his family on a teacher's salary when he dies. Oh, okay. So it breaks bad. So his his brother-in-law is a narc agent. Uh-huh. And he took him on a, a, a sting to... Um, arrest some some uh, meth. What's that stuff they're cooking up? Meth. Crystal meth. Yeah. And he saw that all the money that they confiscated. Uh -huh. And he said, "I can make that." <laughs> so he says, "I can make that." Well, so one of the guys crawled out the window. He was sitting out in the car. He wasn't allowed to go in because he was not mm -hmm. an official agent. And he saw this guy climb out the window and hop down and go get in the car. And he recognized him as one of his former students, and he got his license number. And he had his brother-in-law run a, run a, a, run down the license plate number mm -hmm. to just, you know, kind of just, by the way, I saw somebody the other day I think I know. Can you check it out and tell me who this guy is? Mm -hmm. And so he went over and told him he knew he was part of the meth mm -hmm. operation. Mm -hmm. And that he wanted to become partners because he needed to make some money. Uh -huh. And he knew how to cook up some really good meth. Right. Because he knew all the chemicals involved. Mm -hmm. right. So that's the gist of the story. So it's called Breaking Bad. Uh -huh. And so all the time they're in the credits and everything, they have all those element symbols. Oh, okay. Well, and it's, it's really... Um, educational. Well, no, it's just... Um, I like offbeat stuff. This uh -huh. is very offbeat. Uh -huh. Well, of course, it's bad to be <laughs> making and selling meth, but. That's true. It is bad to be making and selling meth. And if you're going to go to the tr trouble to put a meth lab together, just just go at, all the way and do it right. Make 3, 4 methylene dioxyamphetamine hydrochloride. Don't make crystal meth because crystal meth is doing nobody any good. Well, I don't know anything about that. All I know is it's an interesting program. So at least do something that's interesting and, 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 and we'll, we'll, you know, that the, we'll... Uh, well, apparently he's able to cook up the best kind of elongated crystals, no whatever doubt. that means. I'm, yes, I'm sure he That was. they have ever seen. They were mm -hmm. sparkling like diamonds and no cloudiness in them. Right. Whatever that means. That means they were clean. You want a half of a... I do, but not right at this moment. You see, I'm chewing this gum... What kind of gum is it? Is it nicotine gum? It's that kind of gum. And you can have some if you want some, but you can't eat a sandwich while you're chewing <laughs> you gum. You can't really can't. <laughs> and I need to go get some tape to put this up. You know, you have to be really careful with gum in the future because Wrigley's has bought the rights to use xylitol and a couple of other sugar alcohols in gum. Okay. And it's deathly poison to dogs. Oh, God. So you don't want your dogs eating any gum off the street, which they will do. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. See, I'm going to zoom in on you. Okay, that zoomed in on you. <laughs> and, um, and, and I'm going to go look for some tape and spit out my gum <laughs> so, I, so I can eat some stuff and, and you can entertain <laughs> Uh oh, listen to this. I hear it whistling. Okay, I'm gonna be making some tea. And then, and you can eat chocolate cookies too. And then what kind of chocolate there. cookies are these? They're absolutely divine. I think they're called African. I threw the box away. They came from uh, Tasty Waters and Judson sent them. Mm, they were so good. They, I think Casey Waters said they were good. So They're very good. He, he offered me two types, and the, this type and this wonderful chocolate type here, and then he tried to hand me the other type, and I said, I think I'll try the wonderful chocolate type. <laughs> <laughs> no, she said they were wonderful. Okay, do you already have the tea in the pot? Yeah, that's ready to go. Uh -huh. Okay. That is ready. So please have some of that. Why don't you do the 420 roll? I already did. Oh, okay. Before you got here. Why were you wanting to tell me the secret? Tell Jonathan to come back here. I want to ask him about the 48-hour. Okay. 
Jonathan, come back here and tell me about the 48 hour thing. There's not been a drop taken from any of them. Oh, well, that I overdid that one. Okay. Now what? On the tape. What kind of tape are you looking for? I made Jonathan turn the, the volume up, but I noticed that you weren't talking. Oh, I was thinking in deep thought. Oh, well, I'm turn the music up. <laughs> <laughs> I was in deep thought there for a minute or two. I'm not good solo unless I'm teaching a lesson. Yes. Then I'm good, but I'm not good just like impromptu off the top of my head. Uh-huh. Well, how's life? All right. It's still, it, it's, it's still on you. <laughs> no, your microphone turned up. <laughs> oh, okay. It's okay. Oh, look. Oh, oh I forgot to stun my gum out. I'll be back. And what do you, what do, you do at a tea party with gum when you're supposed to eat a sandwich or a cookie? Or you're like, just not, you? it's not couth to be chewing gum it's, on it's TV. Under the table. Okay, I'm going your mother would probably taught you better than that. I will be back. That's the wrong one. But I remember this line from it. It was this old man and old woman. And he says, What has happened to Asheville? <laughs> Maud, have you noticed all these weird people? What has happened to Asheville? Uh -huh. so they all moved up from New Orleans from Katrina. They did. That was true. That's part of it. Because uh -huh. Asheville looks a lot more like parts of New Orleans now than it. They used to, but there's, there was a steady stream of people. Well, how long have you been here? A long time now, haven't you? 
18, 19 years. Oh, well, then you know that was a good number of people coming in from Asheville before Katrina got here. Well, yeah, it was they always like, because you know what happens is you're down there in the, the oppressive heat. heat and the 200% humidity. Right. And, and you just start fantasizing about the cool mountains right. and it just draws you, you up here. One little trip up here and it's like, oh, oh. And the pristineness of the countryside, That's you know. True. And the and the lack of horrible congestion. Right. Building wise and traffic wise and people wise. Uh-huh. So Well. That yes. and and you uh, I think it somewhere in, in Arkansas like Eureka Springs or something uh -huh. like that draws a lot of people. Okay. Some sort of cool getaway. Mm -hmm. By cool, I mean cool weather. Not when you walk out of the house. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, it's, Can you see it? That is wonderful. The middle of it disappears. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's going to do that on blue screen. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Where'd you get that? That's where I order everything these days. If I can't get it on the internet, I hardly get it at all anymore. Just a little more by that. Wait a minute. I'm trying to get out of the way so I can see the height. Okay, that's the height right there. That's a good height. Mm -hmm. Over which way? I'd bring it all the way over to here. Then you could really see it on the screen. Like there you go. Way. Yeah, right, right there. Congratulations on all your awards you won. Thank Here's you. A, some paper towels because I didn't have any napkins at the house. You guys are just sitting on camera eating cookies. Mm -hmm. Well, we were talking about it last week, and I said, well, I'll bring some. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Aren't they good? My shirt looks like it has sparkles on it. Your shirt. How did you make it? All right, this is sharp cheddar from <coughs> Sam's. Is it? They die great up. Yeah. And uh, Duke's mayonnaise, mm -hmm. salt and pepper. And chopped up pimento, and that's all it is. Mm -hmm. But it's made from scratch. It doesn't say roots on it. Yeah. So, did your Duke mayonnaise jar on the label that it said 100 years in business or something like that? Because I got a jar of mayonnaise last year. It said Duke's 100 years. And my I've been around a long really time. Weird. No, they've been around a long time. My friend thought. Oh, no, no, no. My friend thought it was really weird. Can you hear me? Can yes. you hear me? Oh yes. My friend thought it was really weird that you'd put 100 years on a mayonnaise label. Because that's how long they've been in business. Yeah, but also just somehow the association of 100 years and mayonnaise didn't seem right. <laughs> You'd want some newer mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Do you have a newer jar, please? Aged, aged, young. I aged never had this Duke before mayonnaise. I came to Asheville. Pimento really? cheese spread. It's very southern. The same as this? Did it taste like this? No, I've never had it before. Oh, you never had no, it? No, I've I've had it since I've lived in Asheville. Mm -hmm. Much better than what you can buy in the grocery store. Oh, gosh. Please. So it's mm -hmm. cheese, mayo, and pimento. That's all, and salt and pepper. What's pimento? A pimento is red peppers. It's like a little pepper. Sweet red pepper. It's not hot. And a little jar. Except that these came from some that I bought last year in bulk and just roasted them myself and, and put them in the freezer to How have in their mean? freezer. For whenever. They have a good flavor to them. Can I have another one? You can have all you want. Mm. How about that one that's on the bottom nearest you? That one? Uh-huh. It looks I, like it's really stuffed. It's stuffed. <laughs> John knows how to pick his food. 
That's right. Thank you so much. <laughs> so knowing that skimpy spread of pimento, I want a thick. No, my mother. My mother. Does, she. She. Whatever she spreads on a sandwich, whether it's it's jelly or peanut butter or pimento spread or whatever, she spreads it thin so you can see through it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know. And uh, that must be traumatizing to have to grow up with that. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> now that explains, that explains it all. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> Is she very thin? She used to be. Mm -hmm. I like to. Is this my microphone? My, I like. Mm -hmm. I like to spread my peanut butter on real thick. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hear it? Now lean up to it like you did and say what you said. Is this my microphone? <laughs> it's really loud. <laughs> When, when you lean up like that, it is. So Ursula won a bunch of uh, the um, mm. the uh, award, the early awards. I, was, I won a bunch of awards, but I wasn't there for mm -hmm. them. She was one of those absent stars like Marlon Brando. Yeah, I did the same thing. Of course, I didn't get anything. What? I would think you'd get something. Mm -mm. You didn't enter. You didn't, enter, didn't enter, anything. enter anything. You have to enter. That's the whole thing about all these Academy Awards and stuff. You have to enter it. I didn't enter anything because I didn't want to have to go to the thing. <laughs> well, I couldn't go to the thing because I don't drive, and they had it way out in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. You could have talked to somebody. That anyway. was my suggestion. I also to have had it to work until Cinnabar. five. I mean, it's cool that it was out there. I just couldn't. And if it was up like the Asheville. Bu Bruin View, mm -hmm. I would have gone. But. How was it? At the, you tell us how it was. You were there, right? Are these cookies mm -hmm. are mixed. Mm -hmm. So how was it? it was it, were, were you at that other thing that they had at the Bruin View, the um, Asheville Music Video Awards? No. I was at that. I thought that, that was at the Cinnabar. The Cinnabar, exactly. I thought that was great. Mm -hmm. Did you, I had so much fun. We all had a lot of fun at that. That was fun. And they had good food, too. Well, um, it was all right. It was the first one, so I think next year it might be a little more, um, more of a gala, more of a red carpet event. So here's my thing. I interviewed Carl Mumpower mm -hmm. at the uh -huh. URTV party. Here? In this Here. room? Okay. The, no, at not the gala? in this room. No. no. In there. At the gala? I asked him to talk about his creative expression with uh -huh. me. Okay. He didn't, I mean, he obviously had never been asked. What he does what to do be you creative. Do? What, is, what is your creative outlet? Right. That's basically what I asked him. Mm -hmm. He was like, good question. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I would really like Did to get the footage. Per, per, persecuting potheads. He said, work. Mm -hmm. I wish I had recalled... The whole, you know, how he went undercover and bought crack. <laughs> I should have been like, well, you obviously have thespian talents. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> <laughs> I have a theory that you should always try to be creative, that you should always be doing some sort of creative mm -hmm. endeavor because... You cannot be creative and destructive at the same time. Oh, interesting. Well, you I can don't... always be destructive in an unconscious way if you're not aware of what you're doing. You can be at, at, like in an alcoholic situation when you enable an alcoholic. You think you're being helpful, but you're actually being destructive. So if you concentrate your energies on your own creativity and make that your main goal, how about, how You're about, not going to go through the world being like a destructive force. How about people whose art form is is they drive a school bus through a wall of television sets? Though Ooh. I mean, is that is that creative or destructive? Yeah, I, I feel like there isn't like a well, there now, isn't a fun. I think that they're like they're.